We've been back from Africa for about two months now, and I still haven't gotten very much put away. I just kind of sequestered all of our souvenirs and put them in our closet, but haven't made any progress. I still need to go through all the receipts and everything, so I'm finally just going to make a point to at least go through this, because I know some of these are probably going to be uh, presents for other people, and even though I'm filming this two months after we got back. I mean, chances are this video is not going to be posted uh, several months from now. So, um, so we'll start. This bag is from Swazi Candles. That's technically not in South Africa. That was in Swaziland. But there's a myriad of things in the bag. So the first thing is this candle. And this was one we picked out for ourselves. But I'm not entirely sure if we're going to keep it. We might gift it. But Swazi Candles was just this really cute little candle shop. Um, it was basically our first place that we went in Swaziland. It was like in this little touristy area. There were a lot of little craft shops and stuff and a fair amount of tourists there. It was really cute and nice. I found some other things to be a little bit pricey. but And this one is another candle. I kind of wish we'd gotten one that was shaped like an elephant but this one has elephants and it's in a red and black design. So I plan to give this one to my mom cause she's a big elephant lover. Some of the things that I lump in with souvenirs, other people might not even call them souvenirs. These are literally just a collection of body lotions and body washes and shampoo and stuff that I got from the hotels we stayed at. We stayed at all these Protea by Marriott hotels and so they all feature this earth therapy brand of uh, toiletries. So scooped all those up. There's another one of those and some little soaps. Next we got these Arniston Bay wine bottles. These were actually in one of the Airbnb farms we stayed at and it was just a little bonus gift. And so they're wines from South Africa. This one's a Chenin Blanc, Chenin Blanc Chardonnay and a Merlot. We'll probably keep the white one and then we might gift the Merlot. We'll see. We might just drink them both. More soaps and stuff. We stayed at a fair amount of the Protea hotels. Probably like half of our trip, well a little bit less than half of our trip was at the Marriott. So this is the soap that I got from the Swazi Candle place and it's made with Swazi Rebos. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, but that's that tea that's grown locally there. I know that's a popular thing to try in the region. All right, we're getting to some of my magnets. So we got this one. It's a little vehicle driving the garden route and it has places that we visited, all the places we visited except Jukani, but we saw Monkey Land, Birds of Eden, and Sitsukama. This is a magnet from the Apartheid Museum and there were some that said whites only and some that said non-whites only so we chose this one. This was one of our last stops in South Africa. This is from the Addo Elephant National Park which was pretty much the first animal safari place that we went to and we loved it and seeing our first elephant was so amazing. We obviously love elephants so much because here is yet another elephant magnet. It's just a metal one that says South Africa. But perhaps more than elephants, we love seeing the lion. So this one is specific to Kruger Park and has a lion head on it. And another little magnet. This was from Chimps of Eden Sanctuary or something. It was a Jane Goodall chimpanzee sanctuary. It was the second to last day we went there. Something wrapped up here. Let's see what it is. I think it's a magnet. I think it's a Swazi magnet. I'll give this one to Francisco to open. Can you make something? And we have this Kruger Park Africa. Babe! I'm opening it. You're opening it too loudly. Got the magnet open. This is the last magnet in the bag. And this one looks like it's hand painted and it says Eswatini. Which I know I said we went to Swaziland earlier, but Swaziland actually changed its name to Eswatini. We heard it referred to as both countries, so I think they're still transitioning to their new name. It's weird for a country to change its name, but whatever. 
This is a jam we picked up at Kruger and it says African Marula Marmalade Elephant's Delight. So it has marula juice, sugar, lemon juice. It's marula and orange flavor. So we obviously have not tried this yet, but I'm really interested to see what it tastes like. I wanted to pick up some local jam. Kind of wish we got more, but we were very light on the souvenirs, as you'll see. I think we're about through the majority of them. This is a kitchen towel from Addo Elephant National Park. I think kitchen towels are also like one of my preferred things to pick up just because it's useful, but just a little memento that you'll see as you're going about your daily life. So that's one bag down. This is our snacks bag. Some of these were basically just food we picked up to eat while we were there and didn't eat it. So it's just been sitting here. There's this coffee that Francisco got and he was just gonna make this one morning but he didn't make it and we thought it was like kind of novel. It came in this little container, but really it's just this cup with <laughs> instant coffee inside of it. Potato chips, Italian cheese, gratin flavor. This was my favorite chocolate bar that I tried while we were there. So I grabbed a couple more chocolate logs to take home with me. We got a crunchy and a chomp bar. Raspberry flavored cream biscuits. We tried these Astros while we were there and I enjoyed these little candy and chocolate coated biscuit bites so we got a little bit more to take home. These were chocolates we got on the Swiss flight. These are little French nougats. I think these were just like a little bonus at one of the Airbnbs. This one is really smushed. And then these shortbread biscuits. I think this is one of the items Francisco picked up at our first grocery stop. And he kept talking about them, but never actually ate them. And the last food item are these banana chocolates. And these were just on the desk in one of the Proteas that we stayed at. At the Protea Hotel Marriott Hazy View, as you can tell by the banana. It says, we are bananas for you, let's never split. The rest of everything in here is a couple of packets of hot cocoa that we actually got at one of the United lounges. Well, at the United Lounge. We only went to one United Lounge. And then everywhere that there was tea, uh, we would always drink whatever coffee was there. And then I always took the teas to go. So I've got a lot of teas here. Um, some of it's the Ru 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 Ruibos tea. And that's everything in the pick and pay bag. So we're literally almost done. Because next is just our collection of rocks that we picked up from various stops along the shore and I usually love to just collect some neat rocks. Last but not least, we went to Leopard's Leap Winery and it was kind of an accidental stop. We just ended up going across the street because no one was at our Airbnb to let us in. So we did a wine tasting there and we picked up our favorite wine that we tasted as the semi-sweet lookout, semi-sweet Tastes like candied fruit, marzipan, and apple blossom. Enjoy with interesting conversation, spicy foods, any time of day. Wine of origin, Western Cape wine of South Africa. It was good wine. We enjoyed our wine tasting. That's everything that we got in South Africa and Eswatini. We did not get anything in Lesotho. We were mostly just making a beeline to get out of that country as soon as possible. Mm, I feel horrible saying that, but we just felt so uncomfortable being there. But we really enjoyed, we enjoyed Swaziland up to the very end when it was stressful just getting back across the border. And we really loved a lot of the scenery and animals that we saw in South Africa. And I kind of wish we'd gotten more souvenirs because I feel like we didn't really get a lot. And that is everything for this video. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. <laughs> Colby, what are you doing? Did you give him his astronaut helmet? I no, nope. he's messing with this pile of stuff you put over here. Oh, Colby. All right, one second. <laughs> we'll just start over.